Do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? When someone asks you this question, what does it mean? Well, it means that it's whether you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert. They're generally inquiring about their personality and social tendencies. First, let's define what is an introvert? What is an extrovert? Introverts tend to feel more energized by spending time alone or in smaller groups. They often prefer solitary activities or quiet environments to recharge. Meanwhile, extroverts tend to gain energy from social interactions and external stimuli. They enjoy being around people, engaging in conversations, and participating in group activities. People can also fall somewhere in between, exhibiting qualities of both introversion and extroversion. This is often referred to as being an ambivert. Well, when someone poses this question, they might be trying to understand your social preferences or how you recharge. It's not about fitting into a specific box, but rather understanding the tendencies and inclinations you might have in social situations. Well, does introversion and extroversion varies across lifespan? Absolutely. While someone might have a natural inclination toward introversion or extroversion, these tendencies can evolve over a person's lifespan due to various factors such as personal growth, experiences, and changes in circumstances. So, we have at least four factors that could affect whether you could change into an introvert or an extrovert. First is developmental stages. In childhood, for example, a child might be reserved or cautious in new situations, which is a trait of an introvert. But as they grow and gain confidence, they might become more outgoing and social, which is a trait of being an extrovert. Life events. Major life events such as starting a new job, moving to a different place, or entering a new social circle can influence one's behavior and shift their tendencies toward either introversion or extroversion. Personal growth too can contribute to changes. With self-awareness and personal development, individuals might learn to adapt and display traits that are different from their innate tendencies. For instance, an introvert might learn to be more sociable in certain situations or vice versa. Lastly, we have age. As people age, their preferences for solitude or social interactions can change. Some might become more introspective and enjoy solitary activities as they grow older, while others might maintain or even increase their preferences for socializing. Overall, while core personality traits might remain somewhat stable, various factors can influence how introversion or extroversion is exposed across different stages of life. So, here are two examples of what an introvert might say during a social interaction. I really value our conversation, but I need a bit of quiet time to recharge my energy. I enjoy spending time with people, but I also appreciate moments of solitude to reflect and recharge. And here's another two from an extrovert. The more the merrier. I thrive in bustling environments and love being around people. 
I gain so much energy from socializing. It's where I feel most alive and connected. So, among these quotes that I said, Where do you belong? Are you an introvert? Or are you an extrovert? Well, it doesn't matter where, where you belong. The question is, is it necessary to know whether you are an introvert or an extrovert? The answer is, it's not a necessity to label yourself as either an introvert or an extrovert. But understanding where you fall on the spectrum can offer valuable insights into your preferences, needs, and how you recharge. Knowing whether you lean more towards introversion or extroversion can be beneficial in several ways. For instance, self-awareness. Recognizing your tendencies helps you understand how you function best in social settings and how you recharge your energy. It allows you to honor your needs and make choices that align with your comfort level. Effective communication. Understanding your tendencies can aid in communication, both with yourself and others. It can help explain your behavior and preferences to friends, family, or colleagues, allowing for better understanding and more harmonious interactions. Personal growth. Awareness of your inclinations doesn't restrict you. Rather, it can guide your personal growth. If you know you tend towards introversion, but want to develop more extroverted qualities in certain situations, you can work on expanding your comfort zone without compromising your authenticity. And knowing whether you are an introvert or an extrovert can help you building relationships. Knowing where you fall on the spectrum can help in forming relationships. If you're an introvert, you might seek deeper, more meaningful connections with a few close friends. Extroverts might thrive in larger social circles with frequent interactions. To sum it up, ultimately, while the label isn't crucial, understanding your tendencies can offer valuable insights that contribute to your personal and social well-being. It's a tool for self-awareness rather than a rigid definition. Whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, well, it's who you are. Let's embrace ourselves and build ourselves every day so we can be every day better. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button. Follow us for more videos.